Well, the average person has no contact with monkeys. There are only two ways that you could have contact with monkeys that I can figure. One is you have people who eat monkeys, and in so doing, they clean the monkey and with a sharp knife or a dull knife or what have you and can become infected that way. The other way is, is that we still, or that we used vaccines that were made from monkeys that we injected into people. The scientific community has always favored the hunter theory, where SIV crossed over into humans as a result of killing or eating chimps. However, it fails to explain why AIDS has appeared only recently, since monkeys have been hunted and eaten across Africa for hundreds of years. Another, more disturbing theory emerged in 1992. An article published in Rolling Stone magazine by freelance journalist Tom Curtis linked the origin of AIDS to the polio vaccine. It looked at the polio campaign that Dr. Kaprowski had uh, uh, undertaken in the former Belgian Congo in the middle to late 1950s. And um, I did focus on that campaign because of certain geographic similarities to where scientists were saying AIDS had uh, begun in the human population, which was in this same region. Curtis's hypothesis shook up the scientific community because it questioned the work of Hilary Kaprowski, a famous researcher and pioneer in the fight against polio. There was a, a tremendous feeling in the scientific community that they were somehow endangered. If you had journalists writing articles in the Rolling Stone, my God, what about our dignity? So there was a lot of concern from that viewpoint. Uh, there was a lot of concern that it was written by a person who was a professional journalist and that they were afraid that people would no longer immunize their children against polio. To understand Curtis's questions about how the polio vaccine was produced in this region of Africa, let's return to the polio years. In 1958, America was still haunted by this disease, which had been paralyzing and killing mostly children for 50 years. In one of the largest mass vaccination campaigns ever, 90 million Americans were vaccinated. A great success of modern medicine, it transformed its inventor, Jonas Salk, into a hero. All 164 million Americans to say nothing of all the other people in the world that will profit from your discovery. I am very, very happy to end that. The polio vaccine was the first to be derived from monkey organs. Mass commercialization created an enormous market for monkeys, used both as guinea pigs and raw material from which to create the polio vaccine. In America, Entire shipments of macaque monkeys arrived from India and the Philippines. During the polio years, Hilary Kuprowski was a young researcher, brilliant and ambitious, determined to make a name for himself in his newly adopted country, the USA. In 1950, while Jonas Salk's formula was being widely used, Kaprowski began testing his own prototype of a live polio vaccine. A scandal erupted when it was discovered he'd been testing his product secretly on handicapped children in Letchworth Village, New York. That didn't slow him down. He turned to the private sector to continue his testing. On April 23, 1955, 260 children vaccinated with Jonas Salk's formula became sick. 11 died. A subsequent investigation showed that some vaccine lots were defective. Confidence in Salk's vaccine was shaken, clearing the way for Kaprowski. But he was no longer alone. Another scientific giant, Albert Sabin, was also developing a live vaccine a race between these two men to replace the Salk vaccine turned into a battle. So you have these two 
conflicting individuals who are all working towards the same goal. And it's uh, one of the great dramas of modern times of how they interacted and how they worked. They were willing to go and take uh, subjects who may or may not have been informed of what they were doing. They were able, they were willing to go um, to the backside of the moon if it meant that they could find out whether or not they had a viable product. To win this race, they had to test. And to test, they needed large, non-immunized population groups, something no longer available in America. Sabin made a secret deal with his native country, the USSR, where he vaccinated more than six million people in Latvia, Estonia, and Kazakhstan. Kaprowski chose an African country in full expansion, the Belgian Congo. A jewel of the colonial empire, it had one of Africa's best organized and most modern healthcare infrastructures at the time. L'Institut Princess Astrid est un des laboratoires médicaux les plus importants et les plus complets de l'Afrique centrale. Il dispose d'un personnel nombreux et d'un matériel ultra moderne tant pour l'exécution des analyses courantes que pour la recherche scientifique et la préparation de vaccins et sérums utilisés dans la lutte contre diverses maladies infectieuses. La sollicitude des services officiels s'étend spécialement aux enfants, l'avenir même du pays. Dès l'école, tous les enfants sont soumis à des examens médicaux et à cette occasion reçoivent un carnet de santé, véritable fiche d'identité sanitaire. There was therefore flawless subject monitoring, making the indigenous population a wonderful experimentation group.